The Berenstein Bears St. Patrick's Day by Mike Berenstein. It was in between time and bear country, the time between the end of winter and the beginning of spring. The weather couldn't decide whether to be cold and snowy or warm and sunny. Sometimes it was both warm and snowy, with spring flowers poking through patches of snow. The holidays were in between as well. Valentine's Day was long gone and Easter had yet to arrive. About this time, March 17th to be exact, Grizzly Gramps and Gran came by the Bear family's treehouse. Happy St. Patrick's Day, called Gramps. Brother, sister, and Honey were surprised to see Gramps and Gran all in green with bright green top hats. Why are you dressed like that, asked sister. For St. Patrick's Day, of course, said Gran. What's St. Patrick's Day, asked brother. Gramps was shocked. Don't you cubs know you're part bearish, he asked. We know we're bears, said sister puzzled. That's not what I mean, laughed Gramps, and he explained. To be bearish, said Gramps, means that some of our ancestors came from the island of Bearland across the sea. Bearland is a fair green country called the Emerald Isle. That's why we wear green on St. Patrick's Day. Who is St. Patrick? asked Brother. St. Patrick was important in bearish history, said Gramps. He brought goodness and faith to Bearland. There's a story that he drove all the snakes from the country. Snakes were thought to be evil and there are no snakes there to this day. Oh, said sister, disappointed. She liked snakes. Come along now, said Gran. We're going to the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Everyone in bear country who even feels bearish will be there. We've brought along green outfits for everyone. They were soon dressed all in green, a different look for them. Gramps gave them green clover leaves to wear. What are these? asked sister. Shamrock, said Gramps. They are a symbol of Bearland and are said to bring good luck, the luck of the bearish. Nice, said brother, who didn't mind a little good luck. As they headed for the parade route, the cubs wondered about St. Patrick's Day. Gramps, said brother, can you tell us more about Bearland? Of course, said Gramps. We'll start with the legend of the leprechaun. Lepra who? asked sister. Leprechaun, repeated Gramps. What's that? asked brother. It sounds weird. And so it is, agreed Gramps. Leprechauns, Gramps explained as they walked, are magical beings like elves or fairies who live in the woods and vales of Bearland. They are short of stature and given to mischief. They devote themselves to making shoes. Why do they do that, asked sister. To pass the time, said Gramps, and went on. They use their magic to find buried gold and hide it in iron pots. It's said there's a leprechaun's pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, if you can find it. Wow, said the cubs, impressed. The family reached the parade route down Main Street in Beartown. Papa set up folding chairs and they settled down to wait for the parade to start. It was one of those warm and sunny in-between days. The cubs relaxed in their chairs, thinking about leprechauns. They began to doze off and as they dozed, to dream. Sleepily, the cubs opened their eyes. To their surprise, it seemed they were in a green and pleasant land. It looked like, well, it looked like an emerald isle. They were all alone. It was peaceful and serene. Puffy white clouds billowed over the green hills and a beautiful rainbow appeared. It arced, shimmering down to the hills and beyond. Without thinking, the cubs followed the rainbow. Soon the cubs heard a sound, a tap, tap, tapping, like a little hammer busily at work. 
Curiously, they followed it to where the rainbow ended in a ring of boulders. There, the cubs beheld a little figure dressed all in green, tapping at a shoe. He turned and saw them. Begora, he said, smiling. Welcome, young'uns, and who might you be? We're sister, brother, and honey, said sister. We're bears. Are you now, he laughed. Tell us, sir, said brother. Are you a real leprechaun? Well now, he said with a wink, what do you think I am? And what brought you here, my darlings? Did you follow the rainbow? Yes, we did, admitted brother. And I suppose you're expecting to find a pot of gold, said the leprechaun with a chuckle. I guess so, said sister shyly. And sure you were right, said the leprechaun, stepping aside and revealing a pot of gold glistening in the rainbow. Help yourselves. Scarcely able to believe their luck, the cubs dug into the gold and filled their pockets. Wake up, someone was saying. It was Grizzly Gran. You're missing the parade. The cubs sat up, rubbing their eyes. The pot of gold and the leprechaun and the emerald isle disappeared. They were sitting in their folding chairs on Main Street in Beartown. But somehow, something seemed different. The St. Patrick's Day Parade was indeed getting started. It was a sight to behold. There were marching bands and bearish dancers. There were pipers piping and harpers harping. Mayor and Mrs. Honeypot drove by in their long lavender limousine. The whole Bear Town police and fire departments came marching along. The parade wound up with a troop of bears dressed as leprechauns, each carrying a pot of gold. As the bear family packed up their things and started for home, the cubs thought back to their vision of the Emerald Isle and the leprechaun's pot of gold. Had it really been just a dream? Then Honey thought she caught a glimpse of something, a little figure dressed in green hopping behind a boulder, and she thought she heard a soft chuckle. Could it be? Begora, who can tell?